Welcome to Faith in Five, a weekly video devotional designed to discuss practical spiritual concepts in five minutes or less. I'm your host, Mark Vandella. Some of the best TV theme songs of all time are all about being friends. I mean, the Friends theme song, right, is a clear one. But beyond that, Scrubs has another great one that I can't do it all on my own. Then uh, the Golden Girls, thank you for being my friend. And then my favorite, Cheers. I want to go where everybody knows my name. But sometimes I joke when I talk to crowds, I will say, how is it that a bar based in Boston has a more compelling message than the local church? See, the way that we normally do faith and the way that we normally do church is that we show up, we sit in the same seat, right? There's no assigned seating, but there kind of is. We walk in, we consume, and then we leave. And unfortunately, a lot of us, we walk through the rest of week without a whole lot of meaning or feeling like something's missing because we're doing faith not the way that we were designed to do faith. See, from the very beginning, God created the earth and the heavens. It sets a first line. But then it says that God created Adam and Eve and God, Adam and Eve lived interconnectedly. They lived intimately together. See, from the beginning, we were designed to be connected. Not only connected to God, but connected to others. And then Jesus takes this even further. And he says in in John 1.14, well, Jesus doesn't say this. This is about Jesus. In John 1.14, it says that the word became human. Jesus, God became Jesus and made his home among us. Another version of the Bible says that uh, the word became flesh and then moved into the neighborhood. Jesus is another example of how God wants to be connected to us. He wants relationship with us. See, I like to think about our faith our faith journey as Legos, right? Legos are meant to be connected. There's different colors, different shapes. They're meant to be connected. And Jesus is the connection pieces. When we're connected because of Jesus, there's there's more value and more meaning and we're actually living out more the way we were designed to be. Unfortunately, there's kind of two ways that we do life. Those of us without Jesus, those, those of us without faith, Life is a little bit more like Jenga, right? There's still these blocks that may be surrounded by people and kind of connected, but there's no actual connection points. And so it can fall over at any point. But then for those of us who who call ourselves Christ followers, who call ourselves Christians, unfortunately, the way we do faith is like Legos that aren't put together. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, right? Any parents know that Legos that are not put together are painful, right? When you step on these, when we live our lives, we're connected to God and yet we're not connected to others and we wonder why our life lacks meaning. We go through pain alone. We're not connected the way that we were designed to be connected. So this week, as you live out your faith, examine your life and your faith and the connections that you have. Are you connected to Jesus so that you at least have connections points? And then are you interacting with other people and doing life together, sharing the good, the bad, the ugly? Or are you maybe not connected to Jesus and you don't know much about that? I would encourage you to look, to examine, to dig in because You may be stacked with a whole bunch of people, but it's only a matter of time before that comes crashing down. This week, take a look at your faith journey. Examine how God created us to be connected, the design, and look for Jesus as that glue, that connection point, these pieces that connect us and give our lives meaning. This week, live out your life connected to others and connected to Jesus.